Hey everybody, what's up? It's Nick here, and today's video is going to be a response to the last video that I made which showed you how to make an 8-bit icon with a free website called 8bit.me. If you guys missed that video, feel free to go ahead and click on the annotation that you guys are seeing right here. But basically in that video, I said that I would go ahead and show you how to make an 8-bit icon inside of Adobe Illustrator. So, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do that today. So, but I'm going to be referencing the 8-bit icon that we made in the previous tutorial. So if you guys haven't watched the previous tutorial, go ahead and watch that right now because I'm going to be using that to reference the icon that I'm making right now. So anyway, the first thing we're going to need to do is we're going to need to have Adobe Illustrator. I'm going to be using Adobe Illustrator CS4 for this video, but you can use any version of Adobe Illustrator that you want to. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to import the 8-bit icon that we made in the previous tutorial in with Illustrator. And as you see here, it should come up to this right here. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to resize it, of course. So we have a little bit of a bigger image to go ahead and work with. And that's about good. And then I'm going to go over here and I'm going to click this little box right here to lock the layer. And what that will do is it'll make it so I can't do anything to screw up our reference. Next thing I'm going to do is create a new layer down here, which is where all of our work is going to take place. Now, to go ahead and make this kind of 8-bit icon, we're pretty much only going to need three tools. You're going to need the rectangle tool, the eyedropper tool, and the pathfinder tool. If you guys don't know, the rectangle tool is right over here. You can go ahead and define it by going right over here. It's very simple. And the eyedropper tool is right over here. And to find the pathfinder tool, what you want to do is you want to go up to Window, and then you want to go ahead and click on Pathfinder, or in my case, it would be Shift Command and 9. But once the Pathfinder tool comes up, it should come up to this little dialog box. And make sure you're selected on Pathfinder by right here. But anyway, now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and start creating. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create my bottom jacket, as you can see here. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my eyedropper tool, and I'm going to select the color of my jacket. So that brown is good. Now I'm going to take my rectangle tool, I'm going to go down to the bottom and I'm going to just create a rectangle to where my jacket would be. And so that's pretty good. So now you guys might be thinking it's just a straight rectangle but we want this shape that we see down here. Well we're going to go ahead and be getting that shape very very soon but anyway let me go ahead and just continue with the rest of the tutorial. So, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to get the fancy parts of the jacket out of the way, so these little white things. So, let's grab our rectangle tool again and just create these little rectangles for the little white spots on the jacket. So now as you can see here, I got the little white spots on the jacket, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to group them together so that I don't lose them and I can click and drag them out as I please. So the next thing I'm going to do is grab the eyedropper tool again and select this little part of my shirt and I'm going to again create another rectangle. Put it right there and now that's good. We'll drag it off to the side and now the last thing I'm going to do for this part of the tutorial is I'm just going to create a rectangle or two rectangles sorry and we're going to make them around here and I'm going to make some more around the edges of the jacket. So for right here and for right here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the original part of the jacket that we made and I'm going to put it back down towards the bottom. So right around here. And now I'm going to align these rectangles, these skin colored rectangles that we made. And I'm going to align them so that they're around the same alignment as the jacket's supposed to be. Because what we're going to be using is we're going to be using the Pathfinder tool to go ahead and cut them out. So what we're going to do now is we're going to click and select everything down here. As you see, everything's selected. And now we're going to go down here to the Pathfinder tool and we're going to click, click minus front. Which that what that'll basically do is that we'll remove everything in front of the jacket piece. So all the skin color and stuff. So I click that. As you notice, now this is what the jacket looks like right here. So now I'm going to drag in this stuff that we've done like the jacket pieces and my shirt and uh, let's go ahead and align that to where I want to and now let's drag the jacket down and we're gonna go ahead and send the jacket to the back and then this is what we get so if I hide the original layer 
this is what we get in terms of the jacket. And so basically that's what we need to do for the tutorial. We need to go ahead and create a couple shapes using the rectangle and then wherever we need to cut something out, we're going to go ahead and use the pathfinder tool to go ahead and cut out that rectangle. So that's pretty much the basics for the tutorial. Now in order to go ahead and save time, I'm going to create the head and glasses and I'm going to create that during a time lapse so that you guys don't have to see me repeat some of the same steps. But for this jacket here, I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to group it, sorry. So hold on just one second. Okay, so now I'm going to get to the time lapse showing you guys me creating the rest of this avatar. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay guys, so now as you can see, we're done. So from that little time lapse there, you got a little chance to see what goes on whenever you're making something in Adobe Illustrator. So basically, that is how you go ahead and make the avatar. What you do is you basically cut out a whole bunch of shapes with the rectangle tool, color them with the eyedropper tool, and then use the pathfinder tool to remove those shapes in order to go ahead and make your icon. So if I go ahead and hide the original reference that we had here, this is the icon that we have right here. This is our 8-bit icon. So if we want to go ahead and save that, I'm going to go to File, Save As. I'll do 11.8bit.ai. That's perfectly fine with me. Click OK. And if I want to save it as a PNG so you guys can use this as your avatar or edit it in something like Photoshop, we're going to go and we're going to go to export. And if you want to export it to a PNG, just go ahead down here to format and export to where it says PNG. And if you want to export it to Photoshop, click on Photoshop PSD. But I'm going to choose PSD. And let's go over here and just add the tag 1. And then click export. OK. And now we're done. So if I close out of that, and open up the finished product. Here is the avatar that we created. And the best part about this is it is a vector image so that no matter how much we resize it, it will never pixelate and it will stay the same. So that's pretty much it for the video tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or suggestions for more videos you want to see in the future, feel free to go ahead and contact me via the comment section below or visit my website, which is a11021085.net46.net. And if you can't remember that, it will be in the video's description. But anyway, that's it for the tutorial. Once again, if you missed the last tutorial about the make an 8-bit icon using 8bit.me, feel free to go ahead and click the annotation. So anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Later.